Hi, I'm Andre from the John Morris Group, and today we're here to talk about the DOM24. So what's it all about? Well, I love deep fried food. They fit into my three favorite categories. That is golden brown, delicious, and crunchy. But whether it's a tempura or whether it's a chip, if the, if the product that you're eating is cooked in oil, which is going off, then it can give you a little bit of a sick feeling in the stomach, it can give you a headache, and it can actually be quite, quite bad for your health. So Otago have just invented the DOM24, and it comes in a box like this. And this tool is, in my mind, the best tool for telling you when the oil is ready to be changed. I've got to say, I love this tool right away. You can see we've got a nice long stainless steel shaft and a, a nice digital readout over here. And we can hold it at the other end. And what does that all mean? And that means when we're putting this end here in hot oil, we're not risking getting splashed or burned on our hand. And that's really important. The first thing I really like about this particular unit is its shockproof design. I mean, let's face it, in, in a restaurant environment, we're not necessarily going to have users who are going to be gentle with the equipment. And so you want something that's fairly robust and rugged. And most sensors, bluntly speaking, are not. You can see we've got the sensor itself hidden in between a nice, solid stainless steel cover. And the actual sensor doesn't have any flimsy parts. It's got a nice flat surface and another detector here on the other side. To clean this is actually quite simple. Hold it under a tap mild soap, give it a little bit of a gentle wash, and away you go. Nothing more to it, don't show it too much love. To change the batteries on this particular device, simply unscrew the top. Place the batteries in. It takes two AAA batteries, and close it back up. And so there were really three different ways that people used to tell whether or not the oil was good to be used. And that is what they would do was they would get either A, some, some uh, little color change strips, which they would put in the oil while the oil was still hot. And they're very inexpensive. They don't cost a lot, but the problem with them is, is if you store them incorrectly, they go off. They also have a use by date. And over time, you, if you keep using these things daily, they're actually more expensive over the course of say three to six months than buying a tool like this. Plus, they're a little bit subjective. You get four or five bars and you're looking for a color change. And if you get more than two bars that are actually changed in color, you know it's time to discard the oil. The second way that people used to check is they would literally do a color test. Uh, now, that's okay, but the problem with this is that one in three guys is colorblind. And anyway, color testing is very subjective compared to light and a range of other different variables, like what's actually been put in the oil. So it's quite subjective. Another way that you would do it is you would have your own laboratory in your, in, in your restaurant, and there you would have a titrator, and you would actually look at the oil. But that's quite expensive, and then you need all kinds of chemicals, and you need somebody who's a trained scientist, really, to run the, the, the titrator and have a look at the oil and make sure that it's crystal clear and safe to use. And so that's really where a tool like this comes in. And there are a couple of alternatives on the market, but nothing quite like this, and I'm going to show you why. This particular unit will measure two different variables, and that is total polar materials or acid value of your oil. To turn it on, just simply push this button right here and hold it down for a second. You'll see it flash, and you'll see here, this is looking at oil total polar. Now, total polar should be under a European value of 25%. If the oil is over 25%, it's definitely time to change the oil. It's not considered safe if you're in the EU. In different parts of the world, they don't yet have a legislation, but as a general rule of thumb, you probably want to be below 25%. When you're using this device, you want to insert it up to roughly this level right here. And it'll also measure the temperature of the sample while you're going, and it's good up to 190 degrees Celsius. That is, you can use it while the deep fryer is actually still on. Let's take a measurement and see how we go. So here you can see that we're at about 26 degrees with this oil, and the TP value is about 6.5%. This oil is clearly good to use, as we'd expect, because it's brand new. Okay, so let's see how we go with the oil from the local fish and chip shop. It 
As you'd expect, the reading is quite a bit higher, but I'm really happy to see that the reading is well under 25%. I really like this local fish and chip shop. I go there almost every day for lunch, and at 12.5%, it's still well and truly safe to use. So let's go from total polar solvents to acid value. And let's have a bit of a look. The acid value in this particular oil is 1.15. Let's compare that to a brand new oil. So we've got that set to acid value. Let's take a reading. Zero point oh six versus one point one five. It's almost good enough to drink. So that's the Dom twenty four from Otago, and I'm really excited about this product. It's it's the neatest thing for making sure that your cooking oil is still safe to use. And I'm personally looking forward to having no more headaches and no more sick feelings after eating deep fried foods. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.